All right, so the first time I gave you a tour of the shop, that was when we first acquired it, which was in March. In I don't even know now, but we've only been here about a few months now. So I'll give you an updated tour of the shop, what we have, what we've acquired, and just the current state of it all. This is also good because when I look at this video six months from now, a year from now, I'm gonna be like, dang, we were there. So I'll take you through the shop. Let's go start with the office first. Um, so this one is, is probably the worst of it all. You can go back to the video where I said 1,500 square feet is rather small. And over the last two, three weeks, like we're all completely fed up of this, of this shop, especially the office space. So here, <laughs> I'll eventually sell some shirts, but right now I still have the, the, the merch right here. Um, we now have two, we have now, we now have three company laptops. We have a, a, the, a media laptop. Um, Lex has his laptop and then I have my laptop over here. Of course, I take the most space because I'm the most creative guy here. Uh, we added a whiteboard. Do we ever even use this? Actually, so every now and then we actually do. So um, that's actually kind of useful. But again, no, nothing has like, there's not much. Let's flip sides. There's not much we can do here. If you look down here, here's our charging station. Like, look at this. Look, look at this bombardment of crap here. Like this is where we have to put it. We have a printer right here, which is a huge upgrade. We've been needing a printer for a very long time. Um, but there's just like there's no space in here. You feel crammed up and we just we don't we don't like it We don't want it. We want to get out of here. Oh, here's other laptop. So we have three company laptops now um, But other than that nothing is I the first time I published the video I actually had that Texas flag upside down red should be down. I did that um, Anyways, this is just the, the office nothing has changed here in the waiting area so if you want to uh... <laughs> All right, so now to the meat of the content is Probably one of the best upgrades that we had is we moved the trash can from back there to right there and it's much easier to throw trash away now. So it's still a bunch of trash, like it's, it's, it's not as optimal as I'd like because we're all just throwing stuff everywhere. So this, nothing has changed. We now have four uh, Easy Pro air movers. Uh, we have a small tool set for anything. We have two gas cans here. They always try to stay filled. That way we always have we always have we always have gas ready to go. We have the generator right here. This is like a just a spare another spare vacuum that we have. Um, these we actually upgraded to these uh, workbenches. Now these are like we have the, like the the lighter versions or like the smaller versions in the van. These things are pretty sturdy. Lex adds these um what do you call these um so you don't slip uh, anti slip tape. Uh, but these are pretty uh, these are pretty gnarly because they go way higher than the ones that we have in the van. So we want to eventually upgrade the platforms that we have in the van to these. Because these are like we bought these locally. Um, I think they're like 130, 120 per ladder. So they're definitely not cheap, but they are really good, especially for working on really tall vehicles. So we uh, so uh, I'll see if I can link where we have these um, these containers like. I, I don't know where I got them from. I just search on Amazon just like everyone else and I try to find them. I'll, I'll try my best to have them linked down below. I know I get that question a lot about where I get these from on Amazon, but I just search high and low. Uh, on here, not much has changed. This is our big bin now. And we just have general cleaning towels here, um, which they're kind of low, so we have to wash towels. But we just keep the general uh, multi-purpose styles here. So for interior cleanings, for engine cleanings, for wheel cleaning, for you know anything that's not paint correction, polishing, removing ceramic coatings or waxes, um, we use these. Um, now we have this new uh, Versa spotter or Versa clean uh, spotter machine. The reason why it's called a spotter because in the carpet cleaning industry you would have this to clean like upholstery, like chairs, or maybe like a spot, like, you know, like a spot on a rug or something, like a, a very tiny area. So that's called a spotter. Uh, we use this a couple times. I, need to, I still need to make a review on it. Um, we have the Aqua Provac, not here, but we still have that one as well. Uh, I think the last time, I think I only showed that we had two. Now we have four of these uh, Nokia. I always forget the name. I'll have a link down below. But these are the lights that we put in the vehicle to um, shine up to light up the interior when we're working here at the shop because lighting the interior at the shop is rather difficult so that's here uh, I don't think I showed you this part but this is the handy dandy here I'll even uh, I'll shine it up as we talk so here is our, um, our our charging station so the way it works right is 
we have um and we, we still need to upgrade a few things here but basically it's a full system here we have two bins we have ready and low if any battery needs to be charged it's gonna go onto the dock if the dock is not available it'll go into low once a battery is fully charged it goes back to ready so that's basically a simple system we have the flex i don't see why the flex made this thing so big why is flex's polishers thing so ginormous but uh, we have it labeled everything here so this this cable here goes to the dewalt drill to the uh, adams polisher to the flex mini this goes to the um pro elite cordless polisher so we have it labeled so it's easier to identify what cable was what but this is our charging station uh, another upgrade that we have here is our polishing of our, our towel setup so um these are we still have we still need to clean some pads but here's some of the pads that we have here's some little cute one inch microfiber cutting discs uh these are our polishing tabs again these are from malco um i don't know if they have them on their site as i mentioned in the last video but these are our favorite ones these are um what is it called magic erasers. uh magic erasers we have uh microfiber applicator pads glass cleaning towels but we need to wash them over here we have a bunch of wash media so a bunch of uh, um, a wash mitts we have some drying towels old and new we have some more drying towels here we have the, these are actually our dedicated wash towels as well they're pretty big that's what she said so these are dedicated to just washing alone um, and we wash them separately so we actually do reuse some of them and we will um, we wash those specifically um, just wash towels so we for the most part use a new towel every time we wash the vehicle I think still but um, I'll have a link down below on, on where we get those. Uh, they're, they're a bit cumbersome because they're a bit, they're a little larger than usual. So when you fold them, uh, it might hang over your hand a little bit, but overall, they're not bad. Here is a bug sponge. But again, this is just like uh, holds polishing towels and our other towels to keep. Cause we don't want to keep them out here where like the dust will get on them when we like clean the shop and we blow something or the air compressor is blowing. We don't want the debris getting onto the towels. So here's where we keep them. Oops. Uh, next, we have, uh, so we still need to put one more reel up. Um, but like I said, you definitely want a reel. We have a reel over there, we have a reel over here, and then we're waiting for the plates so we can install it onto the wall over here. Um, here we have a little hanger for the, uh, this is what we use for the, um, for the tires. So, so the, the pressure washer cord doesn't get kinked on the tire. Just some other attachments for the air compressor, a tire pressure gauge, a uh, towel that we need to clean. We have a board, a tornador cleaning gun right here. A tornador cleaning gun. So down here is our polishing setup, well, our storage. So here we have a bunch of polisher. We have the G15, the GG6. We have the cordless uh, Adams, I believe. So here we have more polishers in the van um, and we're gonna be getting more soon. We have another rotary, I think right here from Max Shine. So we'll be getting a few more polishers. We have the minis, oh here the minis. Uh, we have the uh, Flex Mini right here. We have the uh, three inch from Adams. And then we just have an assortment of compounds and polishes. There's more over there on that shelf, but I'm not saying like, yeah, this is just where we kind of moved them. Not specifically like, this is just where we threw them because we got lazy and we we're like, I yeah, just throw them right there. Um, next up, as far as upgrades, is, um, I don't know if in the last video, I had the, I think we already had the reel up. Uh, definitely another update was this um, bin here. We have our multi-use towels here, our wash towels here, and then our polishing towels here. And of course we hang the drying towels up here so they can dry. And over here would be our um, our glass towels. And we the way we wash, so, with the multi-purpose, we don't really care. We throw some Tide Pods in there, just wash it, you know, and just get them into, to, to, and clean them. Uh, but the polishing towels, the glass towels, and the wash towels do get washed like more consciously or, or with an actual thought process behind how we wash them. Um, but the multi-purpose, throw three, three Tide Pods in there and we're good to go. Uh, so for, our, for getting the water off the wash mat, I have a video on that as well. We just decided to keep things super simple and we went with just another vacuum to just, but we dedicate this one to getting the water off the mat with this vacuum. Um, still not ideal, but it frees up this vacuum when we need it. Um, 
But yeah, that, that's about it. It's, it's, this is a, a 16 gallon, I believe. Yeah, it's 16 gallon, and uh, it works. It, for what it is, like we're just vacuuming water out. It, it works fine. Uh, so now the other thing that I have to show you guys is that we have the Mighty HV60 Spider here at the shop now. So we actually had this one in the van for several months, but because we have the shop and we have cars come here, um, it was very cumbersome to try and do uh, mobile work without having an extractor here because obviously the extractor needed to stay in the van. So we upgraded the HV60 Spider in the van to the Prospector 500. And then we brought the HV60 Spider down to the shop. Now they both are still set up with the Sapphire upholstery tool, so that's a big one. Um, but that, that's a big upgrade that we actually, like we can do a full, anything interior wise here at the shop and the mobile unit can be out there working as well. And if they need to do an interior, they can also handle an interior completely fine out there because we now are fully equipped both at the shop and in the van to do everything interior related. So um, next up here is actually gonna show you over here. And we actually have two new bars, actually one bar. This is the uh, Rogue uh, uh, Severa Coat. Um, it just it looks cool, it's red. So all right, let's keep it moving over here. So look, it's not ideal. Oh, almost sprint manco. It's not ideal, but we have a water tank in here. We don't wash that many cars in here. Um, so we have a 65 gallon water tank. We don't have a spade in here. We have a, the, the Karcher 1700 pressure washer right there. Uh, we want to put it on a reel, on a pressure washer reel. Uh, we'll just, it's going to take a while for us to do that just because it's not like a priority. But yeah, it's not ideal, but these are like, if you have a problem with anything, right? Like you can always complain and moan and whine. I'm like, oh man, why can't we have this? Oh, why can't? They got a solution, that's all it is. Is this ideal? No, do we want to keep it like this forever? No, but I also don't want to be here more than like a year. So I'm not, you know, I'll get by with what I got to get by. And on the next one, I'll know exactly what we want, where we want it, how we want it. Because another thing that this shop doesn't have, and even if it did, it doesn't have space for it, is a washer and dryer. It's very annoying having to take the towels home. So on the next shop, it's going to have a washer and dryer. It's going to have a spigot. It's going to have way more lighting. So yes, it's not the most ideal, perfect shop, but you learn. You go with it, you, you put up with the mess, and you just keep on working. A, a, a little progress over perfection is what I'm trying to say. Um, now, th there are a lot of other like smaller things that we have, like we have upgraded like tools and products and such. Um, I'm not gonna get too minute into that, but for instance, like over here, one thing that we've done is that every, uh, there's two sets of wheel, of, of buckets now, of wheel buckets, and each one is set to have its own individual set of brushes, meaning both of these wheel brushes, have both a piece of degreaser and wheel acid. They both have a set of easy diesel brushes. They both have a set of a long fender brush. They both have a set of lug nut brushes. That way, when we have multiple cars here, either two people are working on each side without any interruption, they have everything that they need. Or if there's two vehicles in here, the one's getting cleaned with one wheel bucket, the other one's getting cleaned with the other wheel bucket. Same thing with the wash process. We do have two wash buckets. Again, just if there's two vehicles here, Two people can be working simultaneously on the vehicle with no interruptions. They have their wash media, they have their wheel bucket, they have everything that they don't have to like wait for the next person to get done in order to keep on working. But other than that, I want to say that is the latest and greatest to the shop. Um, and I'm not trying to say like, you know, I say we're not happy with it. It's just like the bigger the shop, the more opportunity you have. That's as simple as I can put it. Like, I know it's a big deal to get a shop, but this is just, it's not, it's so crammed. The parking lot sucks, the office sucks. Um, and this is our first shop, right? Like if I, if I knew everything I knew now, of course I would get it different. I wouldn't have gone with a 1500 square foot shop. I would actually have gone with a 2400 square foot shop. Instead of paying 1600 bucks a month, I'd actually be paying 2200 bucks a month. And that would actually be way better than the current set that we have. But again, you're gonna make mistakes as you grow the business. You know, playing Monday morning quarterback, you always know what play to run. You know, so it, it is what it is. So I'll leave uh, the video right here. Um, I'll link to all the tools and or as many as I can that I mentioned here in this video. I'm gonna miss some. If you have a specific question on any of the tools and products, leave them in the comment section and then I will hopefully get to it. But I'll link most of them in the description box. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one.